In the first episode, we addressed the importance of digital tools and how they can support integration. In this episode, we would like to speak about training courses for teachers that focus on resilience. The results of the survey we conducted shed some light on the need for training to help teachers integrate migrant students. Indeed, only a minority of respondents indicated having received some level of training. While there is training available, this remains insufficient and there is a strong need to provide frequent and online courses so teachers can feel confident in addressing the needs of migrant students. In light of this, let's explore three projects that help teachers further develop their skills. Let's learn more about STEAM Motion and Motion for Change and the teachers' professional activities they created which focus on emotional intelligence. Educating minds and hearts um, is the most important. As we already have some projects uh, related to the use of emotional intelligence, we really saw the need of this kind of approach, meaning the learning through uh, emotional intelligence uh, for the stu Ukrainian students relocated in our uh, region. The first important stage was supporting teachers' professional development through a training course, a handbook, a teacher's guide and an activity toolkit. Uh, these resources were designed to help uh, educators integrate emotional intelligence into their STEAM teaching practices. Then, uh, to explore practical examples related to the use of STEM through the lens of emotional intelligence, they got to know STEAM motion, emotion for change learning scenario, and the instructions to envision their own activity and then put it into the practice. Of the learning scenarios submitting the best 10 were selected and included in the teacher's guide. The professional development also included a handbook and an activity toolkit. The Ukrainian teachers uh, were uh, important contributors to the handbook, showcasing their teaching and learning experiences during difficult times. Another important stage of the project was piloting the created activities, materials in a real life outdoor settings uh, in the camp format. At the outset of the camp, students from Ukraine relocated in Vulcha County, Romania, and students from Southwest Altenia region found themselves in a situation where they felt distant and shy. But um, at the first stage, so at the first stage, learning and communicating by playing was essential and became the universal language of the students who attended the, the STEM camp. It was amazing to see all of them working, learning and sharing, regardless their ethnicity, nationality, socioeconomical status or difficulties they, they go through. Now it's time for STEAM Embrace, who will tell you more about seven-week course they created to help your students develop cultural empathy, resilience and creative thinking. The idea was to create digital content which will be ready to uh, be used by teachers in any classroom and uh, support teachers in order to empower students to effectively use technology to solve real-world problems. We developed a, a seven-week seven course. The themes were robotics and automation, introduction to 3D design, introduction to programming, app development, big data and analytics, Internet of Things and citizen science. Um, so all these uh, materials uh, were, are available to everyone through the course's uh, web page uh, and uh, also there uh, teachers can find uh, presentations, extra activities uh, and also guidelines in order to connect uh, uh, the social and emotional learning part of the course uh, with uh, these uh, digital skills. We uh, reached through this project uh, over 150 teachers, um, over uh, 500 students. Through a survey that we administered to the students after the completion of the piloting, we had uh, really encouraging results. They could uh, identify the uh, main skills that they cultured uh, through uh, through these courses. So the first one that they identified was teamwork and uh, critical thinking. And um, another uh, important outcome from this is that uh, 
22 students said that an important skill that they cultivated was patience and that uh, they had the patience to sit down and uh, complete uh, the, the task that was difficult. Finally, let's hear from Kids and Codes, DG STEM project that developed technical and teaching guidelines for STEM educators that are necessary to build tech projects relevant to their communities and cultures. The main focus was the teacher training program uh, at the beginning uh, that aims to prepare STEM tutors to include design thinking in their training. And that will enable them uh, to encourage students to build tech projects relevant to their environment. So the main focus was to bring more uh, educators, especially newcomers to Europe or refugees, Arab refugees um, in UK, in Germany, Sweden, uh, all part of Europe, and give them this opportunity and enabling them to learn more about design thinking to teach more students uh, in kids and codes. And uh, through this training, uh, tutors uh, developed the experience required to support the students uh, while they're applying ideas in real life setting. The children at that time well, were more engaged in the environment, you know, because like I said, um, tutors, uh, like they were uh, newcomers to Europe uh, from the same background that the children are coming from. So we managed to, you know, to get everyone engaged and everyone capable of expressing their ideas and solving their own challenges. This, this kind of experience for the children where they have to uh, figure out the main problems they are uh, facing or their family or their friends are facing, come up with a solution, test that solution if it's working or not. And uh, uh, have this experience of developing a real product. Some of them were developing a real product and doing real packaging. This experience will, will you know, will will help them to build the skills and the mindset uh, to become lifelong learners, you know, not just doing this project and that's it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for episode 3 where we'll explore some very innovative teaching methods.